It's time, time, time for Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Helping to get your day started right. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday, May 3rd, 2016. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day. Bring glory and honor to our Lord and use this day to share your faith with somebody. Encouraging somebody in their walk. And while you're at it, give God praise today. Because he is worthy of all of our praise. He is worthy of all of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Ephesians. Chapter number 6. And it's verse number 14. The scripture says, Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Friends, we're studying the, the armor of God this week, and yesterday we had looked at the introduction and we had discovered that we need to make sure we put on the whole armor of God, not leave anything behind. But as we start each day putting on our spiritual armor to go into spiritual battle and and to be able to stand and be able to with, withstand the wiles of the devil. And now Paul's going to start listing the different elements, the different parts, if you will, to this armor that we have to put on each and every day. He said in verse 14 that we have to have our loins girt about with the truth. Uh, Some translations put that as the belt of truth. The belt, I mean, think about it, putting it in our modern day um, usage. If you have a belt on, that's usually holding up your pants, keeping your shirt tucked in, things like that. And that's generally right at the center of your body. And this belt of truth that we're talking about here in verse number 14 that is is having our lives centered on the word of god making sure that the truth surrounds us the truth is what holds us up the truth is what we need to be centered upon jesus said i am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the father but by me jesus is the truth we need to have our lives centered on jesus if we want to win the battle against the devil we need to keep focused on him on jesus i mean if if we're not going to keep focused on Jesus, then we're going to let what happens around us influence our day-to-day lives, then we're missing out on the whole boat. We're missing out on the whole on a whole piece of the armor here. So the belt of truth is is what keeps us together. It's what's it's what puts us on that firm foundation. It's what we need to have our lives centered upon is the truth of God's word. And then he says here in verse number fourteen and having on the breastplate of righteousness in our show title here i called that the bulletproof vest breastplate of righteousness is what will be covering your vital organs here from from your neck right on down to your waist and and one of the most crucial parts of protection in there would be for your heart having our heart centered on god having our heart on the things of God. Paul said in Colossians that we need to have our our hearts set on things above, not on things of the earth. So if our heart is protected, then our heart's going to be centered on the things of God. Remember Jesus said in Matthew that where your heart is, there your treasure will be also. Is your heart on the things of God? Or is your heart on the things of this world? So as you get up today and you get ready to go into spiritual battle, Make sure you don't leave without your bulletproof vest to protect your vital organs and to protect your your heart so that you can keep focused on him. And don't forget about putting on the belt of truth there so that you can keep your life centered on Jesus and the word of God and what he wants for your life. Are you putting on these two crucial pieces of your armor today? Don't leave them behind. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word. And allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.